Welcome y'all to Creative We Shoot Films, and today I want to talk about a uh, indie filter from KMF Concepts. Um, it's a it's the actual ND filter and circular polarizer, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's talk about it. All right, so it comes in this nice box. It's all good. Um, give you a little cloth thing you know the packaging is cool you know the packaging is real nice um, I lost my ND filter on a shoot so I needed one but I've been wanting to get a polarizer at the same time so I said you know what let me try the KNF concept ND filter and polarizer built in one that'll be cool you know it's just all built in one. I'm not gonna lose one, it's there together. So, I went and bought it. Um, I mean, it's built well, it's, it's real quality stuff. Your sharpness is still gonna be there. It's not bad, trust me, KNF does some great stuff. But it's just, and this is a great concept, you know, this whole thing here, this does the, the ND, you know? So as you see, you know, it's getting lighter and darker. Um, and then as you want your, your polarizer, you can turn this. You know, you turn for your polarizer. But by turning it, you can mess up your ND at the same time. So you end up trying to re-expose after you turn for your polarizer. It, it's just not a, it's just, it's just not good. Uh, I'm not gonna stay long on this review. Like I said, it's built well. I mean, it's built very well. The sharpness on this is great. I really was hoping this would work. Um, but I'm gonna uh, end up having probably to send it back and get the, um, just get the, the, the ND filter. Um, the problem is, see, I mean, you put it on your thing, you put it on your lens. And then as you turn, you know, you get your ND, it's all cool. But then you want to tune your polarizer, you know, and the ND doesn't move, but then you might have to do the ND again. Let's say something happens and it's just, I, your polarizer moves with the ND. I just don't like the fact that the polarizer moves with the ND and so sometimes, <sighs> I don't think it's a good idea to have them both together basically because you move one, the other one moves. You move the other, the other one moves. It's just, it's just, if you want my recommendation, buy them separately. KNF is great for the money though. You know what I'm saying? I know they got some other stuff out there. Polar Pro is all great and amazing. Then they got some, KNF is one of the best budget friendly ND polarizing places you can get. Their, their stuff is great. This not so great for me. Maybe it's great for you. I could be wrong. Maybe this is amazing and this is exactly what you need. If that's so, you can go ahead and cop one. It's a shame because I really like it. I think this only has about five stops. It's not enough, trust me. I went outside at 24 frames per second and, and maxed it out. I was getting my sky was still being overexposed or I would have to compensate it. You know, I bring up the F stop or whatever. Um, now, if you bring it up to 60 frames per second, then it could probably be enough if you shoot at 60. But if you're shooting at 24 on a sunny day, this might not um, be enough to expose correctly. Again, just buy them separately. Um, you're not even going to use a polarizer for every situation, but you'll most likely use your ND or a whole lot more. So hopefully that helped you out. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out. <laughs>